Today we visit Melbourne, the Yarra Valley and the Mornington Peninsula and show you 12 excellent things to do around these Victorian towns. If you are feeling adventurous, then why not try rap jumping in Melbourne, which is where you abseil off a building face first. Run by the company Rap Jumping, this is a fun activity for the whole family as long as you are over 7 years old and under 120 kilos. You can get 3 jumps from 99 Australian dollars, but check discount sites like bookme.com.au for good deals. If you like street art, then check out Hosier Lane in Melbourne and see the colourful art pieces. It's open day and night and there are some great restaurants and bars around the area like the Spanish tapas bar Movida. Every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday in Melbourne, there is a famous market called the Queen Victoria Market, which has been around for about 140 years. We're at the Queen Victoria Markets right now and there's lots of different <laughs> shops here, clothes, leather shops, Dean wants to buy some sort of beanie thing, t-shirts, um, jewellery, <laughs> lots good. of fun things, food and it's not too busy so Dean's happy. Look everyone, Dean's lining up for donuts. Lining up for the donuts, doing the donut thing. But he'll be excited because yeah. there's donuts. Here's little Amanda tasting her first American donut kitchen donut. Apparently they're famous. Look, it's got like some sort of jam and looks hot and yummy. Just How much it. did it cost? It was five for six dollars. Five for six dollars. Very good. Don't burn yourself. Good? Quite yummy. Um, big strawberry jam inside. Nice fluffy texture. Yummy cinnamon. Cinnamon. That's <laughs> good. Very good. Recommend it. Can I have one now? If you are looking to taste some nice wines, then head from Melbourne to the Yarra Valley. It's about an hour's drive that you can do yourself, or if you are going to taste lots of wine, then it's best to go on a day tour. While in the Yarra Valley, head to the Big Bouquet to see the cute alpacas. But watch out, they spit. These ones love Woody. Oh! Ooh. You sure you want to put your head through that? Yep. You sure? Spit it at Woody. <laughs> if you're in the mood to play, then head to Hedge End Maze, which is an adventure park that has a range of activities like mini golf, frisbee golf, and a couple of mazes which you need to work your way out of. If you are looking for stunning views, then make your way to the Mornington Peninsula. It's about an hour from Melbourne or an hour and a half from the Yarra Valley and it is well worth the visit. Take a walk on the boardwalk of Cape Chenac to see the stunning water and the lighthouse views. Then check out how the millionaires live on Millionaires Walk. It's an easy 1.5 km return walk which will take you past impressive mansions and private jetties. It is a little odd at times as you are literally walking through people's backyards. Is Udi taking a scenery shot with nobody no. in it? Oh my god. That's a first. Get out on the water at Dolphin Sanctuary and go kayaking. Unfortunately we didn't see any dolphins but it was great exercise and we got to enjoy the stunning water views. Here's little Amanda paddling, paddling, paddling. Watch where we're going so we don't run into boats. This is the first time Amanda's been paddling all day. Amanda nearly ran us into a boat too, she's too concerned about her phone. Look at Mama 
they've been behind us all day. After all the kayaking, you will want to relax, and there is no better place to do that than the Peninsula Hot Springs. There are about 20 different pools of varying temperatures from the very hot to extremely cold. And just a tip, check out the website as on some nights they have musicians so you can sit back in the pool, relax and enjoy the music. Put in a rope, put in a rope. <laughs> That's really scary. <laughs> if you're looking for some cute pics, then head to Mount Martha to check out the colourful beach boxes. They're privately owned, they don't have electricity or water, and you can't live in them, but they are some very expensive real estate. And finally, if you want to cool off, take a swim at Bridgewater Bay. It's a bit of a walk to get there, and you also need to watch out for the March flies. They have a very painful bite. Tune in for next time, when we share some fun things to do in Hong Kong. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button and hit the bell.